Hello everyone. So after the point of parts uh, and LAN, local area network, web server, web browser, web page development, we have seen in my previous lecture. So now let's uh, see the layer. next point that is MOS. Okay. It is nothing but Microsoft. Microsoft Office. S is a share point server. Okay, share point server. So we have to see this point in today in the today's session. So Microsoft Office SharePoint server is robust and futures rich. As, uh, okay, application. It allows one to take organization information and maintain it. In one centralized location, this is accessed through a web browser by the members of the organization. It brings together various uh, technology into the signal integrate platform. It is supporting all internet. Okay, this Microsoft Office supporting the all internet, external and web application. In where uh, you know you are using in your uh, app also, right? As an app also in your mobile also, it's supporting in uh, all internet and in application web browser, okay, by the member of that organization. It brings together various technology into single integrate platform. It is supporting all internet, okay, extra net and web application in one platform. It helps simplify the everything, everyday task, thereby improving overall productivity. So it's helped to simplify the everyday tasks you are using this. So I think so you are familiar with this, right? So future of this, uh, future of this, Okay, so here some futures are there. So control uh, this is the future of MOS, MOSS, that is Microsoft Office SharePoint Server. So first future is that control the control axis. Okay, so this is the first future here. So here in this uh, MOSS, that is Microsoft Office Server uh, SharePoint Server, is established, customize the document and management pol policies. So it is developed to customize the document and manage the policy by applying access rights on documents. Okay. So it established for which purpose to um, manage the policy. Okay. Access can be man managed at the pre item level. Also, okay, so uh, second is the central management. Central management. Central management. Okay, I, I like this central management here. So, in this MOS, that is MOSS, that is Microsoft Official Point Server, allow storing and managing all the documents in one centralized location so in centralized location we can it allow the this that is a this mos allowed the uh, say uh, means store the centralized location any data all data so documents locating become easier if you store in centralized location then if you want again then you will easily get this data because it's sent uh, locate the centralized location so document locating become easier it also allow want to manage how one data is stored setting can be modified to establish okay policy <coughs> and new content types and workflow so this is a we are using centralized management to store the data in centralized location okay so this is the second future of the most that is the microsoft office sharepoint server so fear first feature is about the uh, what uh, control the access so here document management policy by applying the access right on documents okay so that third is the content management third is the content management okay imagine content management so here master page and page layout includes the template which provide consistent look to the content most include the future and provide consistent look to one content. One can also publish content from one area to another. So content management in these master page and page layout included. So included templates. Okay. 
uh, why we this included because this is provide the consist consistent loop to the content to provide the consistent loop uh, a master page and page layout uh, are included here in moss that is a microsoft office sharepoint server okay so moss include the features and provide consistent loop to the one content one can uh, also publish content from one area to another okay so this is uh, about content management which is the future of moss that is a microsoft office sharepoint server then next feature is that working across organization working across the organization org i am reading okay organization uh, so here content create in one part of the organization can be made available to other parts so here the content is created in one part of organization can be made available to another other parts of the organization because those content can be easily integrate into the system and store in web service or document uh, this also avoid duplication efforts so why we are using this is a future because to avoid the duplication efforts with this content creates one part organization can be made available to other parts of the organization why because the content can be easily integrate into the system okay for why this purpose we are using the content across organization and to store in web service or document libraries the also avoid duplicate uh, efforts so improve the business operation here the next point is about the improve improve the business <laughs> business what Op operations let's see okay so here apart from allowing one to store manage and view documents moss that is a microsoft office share point uh, server also help to day to day uh, means also helps with day to day business operation for example moss allow means uh, microsoft office share point server allows yeah uh, you can say allows the creating portal uh, that access and display the information one want to specify some other features are there like search features search features the here this features search business data and this is a most improve business operations having the future this first one is the search features so here this future search business data document web page and people okay the search result are more comprehensive and allowed decision to be made based on the list uh, latest information so it is the searching the latest information so this future is searches business data documents and web page okay so search features used to uh, searching the business documents web page and people the search result are more comprehensive and allow the decision to be made based on the latest information then security minded sharing okay the second which is the security okay sharing this is the next future so here this future allows the sharing of information search future is used to searching the people business web browser and any latest information okay so this why we, that's why we are using a search future here in business operation and security minded sharing it is a use this feature allows sharing of information that one actually want to share okay for example excel service running on uh, microsoft office server um, sharepoint server allow one to share data in real time but it it is not necessary that uh, one must uh, share every that is browser can be used to view uh, interactive excel so here separate and one can apply setting so that uh, only required um, information is shared and not any uh, what 
properly uh, means uh, only require information we uh, we want to mean uh, require information we only can share not privately information which is uh, not showed to the others means privacy information will be not shared only require information which we can uh, share in the public also right so collaboration the this futures allow the collaborate with people at partner company some other business futures are like integrate partner data work uh, remotely and personalization so color in collaboration the three futures are there like uh, like integrate partner data so business information collect from the customers and partners can be integrated into the system the allow including their information in searches it also enhance the working relationship with, with client suppliers and partners so this is the integrate partner data is having its uh, enhance the working relationship with client suppliers and partners so business information collect from the customers and partners can be integrated into the system so work remotely one can be microsoft outlook to work with moz allowing one to access organization of information from anywhere personalization here my site tool can be used by users personalization how they interact with microsoft office sharepoint server my site so here um, just one minute so here in this you can see there what uh, my site so in in my site this my site so here uh, my site future of it is also future of moz that is a microsoft office sharepoint uh, server can be used to present business information this site is used to present the business information about the user including role colleagues manager work group skill and so on it is include public and private view privacy setting allows a user to decide who all can see want information about that user the information that can be viewed uh, by others include following like workspace so workspace this show all the work, workspace to which user has access then links my links link of personal link for a user in short so personalization site based on user role in the organization content uh, then will be a uh, personalization uh, then colleagues teacher tracker this feature allow user to track their colleagues by my site change and update uh, then outlook uh, email the, the uh, this display users email and uh, calendar information then distribution group this show all the distribution group or to which user belongs when looking okay um, at the colleagues my site one can see the distribution group one have in common so this is about my sites which include some points like workspace my link uh, personalization site uh, then colleagues tracker okay so now the point is about uh, electronic data interchange that is edi electronic data interchange <laughs> electronic data interchange okay so here okay so in this electronic data interchange edi allows the exchange okay so edi is allows to exchange of business document in standardized electronic format okay so electronic data interchange is the intercompany you can say communication of business document in a standard format the simple definition of edi that is a electronic data interchange is stand uh, edi simple definition of edi is stand electronic format that replace paper based documents like purchase order or invoice by automatic paper based transaction that is a pdf right then oh, automatic paper which means pdf form okay then organization can save time and eliminate errors caused by uh, manual processing that are costly to fix 
with edi transaction information moves directly from a computer application in one organization define a location and other information is document format this automated capability enables that to be shared rapidly instance of hours days or weeks require with paper document or other methods today industry use edi that is the electronic data interchange uh, to share a range of document types from purchase order to invoice the request from questions to loan application and more so electronic data interchange allows the exchange of business documents in a standardized electronic format Uh, between business partners here are some benefits of edi over the paper based <laughs> business documents uh, that is reduce cost benefits like benefits like reduce the cost reduce okay so reduce the cost just a minute reduce the cost this is a benefit then reduce error increase the staff efficiency a secure environment increase the processing uh, speed uh, and improve the relationship between business partner okay so here organization and personal organization like EDS speed process of working with business to business partner. So here, uh, what? Here points are there like nuts and nuts and bolts. Okay, and bolt. So here, extend uh, markup lang XML, extensible markup language. XML, extensible markup language, and World Wide Web page. That is a blue, uh, blue. That, okay, World Wide Web are the used to EDI of function. EDI format is majorly used for e-commerce transaction. There are many EDI standards. Some of uh, them are like uh, you can say UNA first. Like you can say UN, then EDI fact UN. EDI fact standard. Okay, so UN EDI fact. UN is nothing but United uh, United Nations EDI fact. That is the electronic data interchange for administrator. Okay, com uh, commerce and transport. So this is a full form that like this. Let me change the colors here. Okay. So you in is starting from United Nation, United Nations, then E four, electronic, electronic data interchange, data interchange. Data interchange for F for for and administration administrators. Okay. Then C for commerce and transport. Okay, so this is the full form of this. Uh, so nuts and bolts having uh, means my uh, XML uh, and word file are used by EDI to function the point. It's come under these points. Okay, nuts and bolts. So bolts, sorry. So here you can say that uh, the XML and word file web 
are used by EDI, that is the electronic data interchange, to the function. EDI format is a majorly used for e-commerce transaction. Uh, there are many EDI standards as uh, follow, like uh, UN EDI FAT standards. So UN EDI uh, FAT, that is nothing but you for United Nation Electronic Data Interchange for Administrations. Commerce and transports is a international standard. Okay, it is an international standard. It was developed by UN, that is United Nations. Set of syntax rules to structure uh, an interactive exchange protocol is provided uh, by this standard. This standard also provides a set of standard messages which allow multi-industry and multi-country exchange of electronic business document. So then next is a ANS, ANSI. Okay, so next is this one minute. ANSI. Okay, so this is stand for American National Standard Institute. American National Standard Institute. Uh, this um, uh, character and a, a, an ASC. NASC. This is stands for Accredited Standard Committee. So an X12 to the develop uniform standard for electronic exchange of business. So this is used to the develop the uniform standard for electronic exchange of business transaction between industry. So it is used for the exchange of business transaction between the industry. Then trade comes standard. Then next is the trade comes standard. Trade come com standard so this is a stand uh, standard was primarily used in uk retail sector it was maintained and extended by uk article numbering association and article numbering um, association then od then od audit standard this is a uh, stand for organization Organization for data for data exchange organization for data exchange by by yes daily transmission. Transmission in Europe. So this is a full form of D O D E T T. Okay. So in Europe. So ODTT that is ODTT uh, organization for data exchange by telex transmission in Europe is used within the European uh, automotive industry. It develops tool and uh, you can say recommendation that improve the follow of goods. Uh, then service products product that uh, business information across the uh, value chain. So VIC that is a voluntary inter-industry inter com commerce standard is used within their tail industry of North America. So this is about the boats and no, what? This is about this. This comes under this point where it is. Nuts and, okay. So this comes under this point. Then next point is, oh, what is the value added network? Okay, so next point is that what is the value added network here? So, a value added network. So, here, value added network is a private network provider hired by company to facilitate EDI and provide other network service like message, encryption, secure email, and so on. A value added network is used by business to exchange information among each other. The main goal of WAN, that is a value added network, is to facilitate electronic data interchange, EDI between business. The WAN uh, is uh, on the top of the existing common carrier. 
the carrier provides additional service on top of the infrastructure called value added service hence the name value added network a value added is a closed network which means that only members of the network can access the data when that is a value added networks are not connected to the the wider internet and use different infrastructure so here it simplifies the communication process by minimizing the number of parties with which company needed to communicate when is a short of an electronic post office where a uh, company send transaction to van and van place uh, that transaction um, in the receiver mailbox receiver contain um, van and pick up a uh, transaction and then sends its own transaction it is similar to the email with different that is used for standard structured data and not uh, for understand text van provides some uh, additional service like uh, uh, retransmit uh, document provide support providing the third party audit service so van is having some benefits like uh, alert system it can alert company to uh, transmission issue or delivery receipt archiver storage it is a can st uh, store ethical business information for longer periods of time audit trailer it can audit the information about setup configuration and documents transmission event real time data delivery it facilitate a real time delivery of data thus allowing quicker response to transmission then uh, the benefits of van that is a secure and reliable transmission so it ensures secure transmission of company data also data is received by the receipt so van is a closed network which means that only member of the network can access data van are not connected to wider internet and use a different infrastructure so type, uh, type means vans include the like telecommunication company in industry group specialization service provider and large company so types of uh, the vans having some type like uh, there are three types in van like one to one one to many and many to many so here types of area nine here one to one one to many and many to many this is the van that is a value added network service so in one to one uh, the one to one networks is a connection between two business exchange, uh, exchanging data one to uh, many a uh, sig uh, signal business connect to multiple so in one to one what network is connected between two business exchanging data means uh, here two business uh, is connected between two business one business and two end, okay and exchange exchange the data so and here the one to many in these a single business that is a single business is connecting connecting to multiple other business so you can see here a single business connected to multiple other business example major retail uh, retail uh, means connected to each different supplier retail uh, okay retailer is connected to different suppliers you know very well okay so this is a you can see the example then many to many um, so here multiple business connect to one another this is the most common type of network used in the financial market since there are many market participate connected to each other via single venue so this is about the van van that is nothing but the what Uh, value added network so with the help of value added network the business can connect it to each other one business connected to one another business that is a uh, sharing information between them yeah exchange the information then one to many one business can connect it to the uh, many business like retailer okay uh, then a uh, many to many many business connected to the other business so this is about the van so in upcoming lecture we will see uh, what uh, edi benefits okay benefits of edi and some diagram okay so today's lecture over here thank you just one minute